I think I was around 47. I was 38 when I first started noticing the symptoms. I was a teacher at that time. I'm a data analyst. One night I woke up feeling extremely uneasy and disoriented. I was rushed to the hospital, sedated. And I was diagnosed with perimenopausal symptoms. I would experience hot flashes and fatigue. They told me I was too young to be going through perimenopause. I just kept going, but then when I turned 41, the symptoms hit me like a truck. I developed food intolerances that I never had before. intolerance to eggs and milk my diet was restricted the next concrete symptom was when my period did not stop for a whole month i felt very fatigued as a teacher you're not allowed to sit in class and spending 5 odd hours a day on my feet teaching and managing class after class was a difficult ordeal this went on for 4 months people think of menopause as a rite of passage a minor inconvenience no one tells you what a life altering event it is for most of us at least to expect us to work at the same pace and efficiency as we did before when we are going through such physical and mental turmoil is inhumane i would have terrible brain fog and intense migraines it would begin 3 to 4 days before the start of my period and would sometimes last all through it i remember taking 3 or 4 painkillers and feeling sick sick and sick my anxiety levels would peak and i could feel my heart beating faster i told my principal but she said she has been through it too she said i should keep working and that it would affect my career to take this light i was surprised so many women quit work altogether and i thought about it many times too support from my parents my mom and dad colleagues did help they comforted me that it will end eventually It will get better, and it did. The principal did allow me concessions like sitting and teaching, and in some ways, I think working helped me to tide over the situation better. Work from home during COVID has been a boon for me. I could barely get through meetings, but it helps that I can sit quietly and unwind afterward without having to experience the sensory overload that you have in an office. I wish I could be more open about my symptoms without feeling weak, inadequate, and like a liability. If the companies really want to prevent the leaky bucket, the age bracket in which many women fall off the workforce, they need policies that support women. And that's why it's time we started talking about menopause.